Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my studio. So today I'm going to show you guys my collection of jumbo animal figurines, okay? Take a look at them. They are all right here on the floor. So they are fantastic, fantastic, huge animal figurines, okay? So let's have a look at all of them together, okay? So in case that you guys don't know, this is actually my studio which is known as the Basement Dino Dungeon, okay? So let's get started. Alright guys, so let's have a look at my collection of Jumbo Animal Figurines, okay? So this is an elephant. If I'm not wrong, this was actually given to us by one of our Dan Safarians, okay? So yeah, this is a 2007 Safari LTD figure. It's a very, very nice figure. Very huge, very heavy. I think this has got to be one of our biggest animal figurines as well, okay? Next up, another huge figure. This, it's a rhinoceros from Safari LTD. This figure is kind of um, old, but it's a really, really nice one. The sculpt is amazing. The detailings on this is pretty good as well. We might need to get a piece of wet wipe to clean it up, okay? I think it will still look very, very good, okay? Let's move on. Here we have a polar bear. We got this figure relatively recently, like, you know, maybe like earlier this year or late last year so it's considered quite a new figure in my collection okay um but this figure it's also quite an old figure it's a 2007 model yep but we only got this like earlier this year all right so that's a polar bear here we have a white tiger so yeah we actually have two very similar white tiger figures but this one was actually in my collection for like many years at least five to six years i think and this one we only got it like quite recently and you can see the colors are slightly different the stripes on its body for this figure are actually in brown but for this one it ain't, they are actually in black so they are kind of like different in terms of the paint scheme all right let's move on Another huge rhinoceros figure. If I'm not wrong, this one is actually from PNSO. It's quite a nice figure. Yep, it's a 2016 figure. Yeah, we got this in 2017, if I'm not wrong. 2016 or 2017, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, very nice figure. Absolutely realistic. You can see every single detail on its skin texture, which is very nice. Rhinoceros are actually very, very endangered species. Yep, so do not support rhino products. Do not buy any rhinoceros products. I mean, this is not a rhino product. This is a figurine, okay? All right, let's move on. What do we have right here? We have an alligator with babies. The name, it's actually written on, its, um, on the bottom of, his, of its body. So an adult alligator. I think this alligator looks very adorable. The eyes look so cute. And you have one, two, three, three baby alligators on his back. Kind of cool. All right, let's move on. We have a hump back wheel right here. This is a very huge figure as you guys can see and it weighs quite heavy. I think this is at least one to two kilograms, I think. All right, and this figure is actually from Safari LTD. A 1991 humpback whale figure and speaking of humpback whales you can easily recognize them by the little bumps on its body okay we have another humpback whale figure right here and this one is actually better because it has a movable mouth which is awesome all right so let's have a look at this if I'm not wrong, this is from Peppo. Beautiful figure. If you ask me which one do I like more, I definitely prefer the one from Peppo because it has a movable jaw. Next, let's take a look at the next figure. What is this? This is a Jaguar. Yep, they are extremely muscular and strong animals. Strong, big cats. Very strong, very well built. They are able to climb trees really well. So Jaguar, 2018 Safari LTD figure. Yep, very nice figure. I, I love this one. We got a couple of um, Jumbo figures together a couple of months back. And this is one of them, a Grizzly Bear. Let's have a look at this. Yes, it's a Grizzly Bear, a 2019 figure. So this is 
actually a very very no um recent figure so you can see every single strand every single strand of the fur can be seen very nice yeah grizzly bear they are extremely strong yep the claws are extremely sharp as well yep very very powerful animals here we have a lobster all right so this is a lobster with two huge claws. Right here, we have a spiny lobster. So you can see these two lobsters, they are actually very different. This one right here, which is um, the lobster, a more common lobster, has two huge claws. Whereas for the spiny lobster, it doesn't have any claws. All right. But instead, it has two very, very long, feelers like structure in front of its face. And you can see there are plenty of spikes and the thorns a bit of like an armored animal okay so they do look similar in some ways but of course there are quite a number of differences as well okay let's see what else we've got i think this drop on the floor just now so this is a figure of a komodo dragon very very beautiful figure okay very nice one yep awesome figure Let's take a look at the next figure. What do we have right here? I think we have a rattlesnake. Yep, let's see whether there is any description. Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Very nice. So Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. So this tail will actually rattle and it will produce a rattling sound. It's like, you know, like little rocks inside a bottle when you shake it the kind of sound yeah a rattling sound next we have what is this a gray whale yep a gray whale you can see it has a lot of patterns this are actually a barnacles so barnacles they will actually grow on certain sea animals such as the whales they will even grow on the hull of a boats and sheep yeah, so basically all these barnacles, they are able to grow on the sides of sheep. Alright. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Another tiger. So previously I've shown you guys white tiger. And this one, you don't call it an orange tiger. You basically just call it a tiger. It could be a Bengal tiger or it could be a Siberian tiger. Yep. Let's see what else we've got giant panda yeah or you can just call it a panda yeah they are docile they are quite gentle in comparison with like the grizzly bear of course they may still attack humans when provoked i guess but they are known to be much more gentler and much more docile than other bears here we have another bear as you guys can see so we have a grizzly bear just now and this one, it's a black bear. Yeah, a black bear. I'm not too sure which one is bigger. I think the grizzly bear should be bigger in size. This one looks like a sun bear. Sun bears are relatively smaller, but they can be quite aggressive as well. Okay, let's see what else we've got inside the box. Another one with an orangutan. Orangutan is basically a primate. And this is a Bonnier, Bonnier orangutan, to be exact. Orangutans are known to be extremely intelligent. They can even show signs of empathy. Yep, yep, they are very, very smart, very intelligent. I was watching a video of an orangutan trying to protect a human baby. It was very, very nice. Yep, let's see what else we've got. Galapagos, a dog tortoise right here very nice okay so i think this figure yeah it's quite an old figure but we got it like quite recently as well okay let's see what else we got we have a flying squirrel yeah that's, that's nice so let me see what is this tortoise okay so yeah this is basically these are basically all my jumbo animals in my collection so hopefully you guys enjoy this i'm gonna try to pack every single one of them in like as neat as possible so that we can put 
uh, we'll try to put all the figures inside. I don't think it's possible, but we'll try. Let's see. We're gonna put all the smaller figures in first. We'll try to line them up. Try to optimize the space as much as possible because we only have one box to keep the jumbo animals. We may need more, but maybe not at a time being. Okay, let me just try to put in more, more figures. Let's try to line them up as neatly as possible right now so that we can place in lots of figures. But you can see we have so many, so I don't think it's possible for us to um, place in every single figure. I don't think it's possible. Yep, it would definitely... The box, as you guys can see, it's packed with animals. So yeah, I don't think we can put all of them together. We definitely need another box. Okay guys, thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.